Hello, 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 my name is Fedor and welcome to another Minecraft video or, or tutorial I should say because yeah I'm doing a tutorial on streets by the way so yeah maybe you could use some streets maybe you need some help I could do some tutorials for you anyways let's just start off uh, yeah so I'm gonna do three designs for these three streets so there's a lot more that you can do now for this street right here you're gonna need a lot of deep slate to do you're gonna need deep slate tiled cobbled and deep slate normal deep slate so you're gonna do it like this first like a sidewalk thing you know then after that you could place some deep slate right around the sides on the sidewalks that you did like this there we go and then what you could do is place some couple deep slate around the middle now as you can see it's already looking absolutely fantastic so this one is like a very like dark like street that you could maybe use on your spooky build anyways as a street it does need some like lamps and stuff so it actually looks like a street and not just a freaking alley oh my god I almost a sweat Anyways, these lamps are gonna be absolutely expensive if you're gonna build this in survivals. First, you're gonna place a deep slate tiled block, then you're gonna wanna build that, like that, three and two of those polished ones. And now, you're gonna place a beacon, then you're gonna crouch and place a slab on top. And yeah, that looks a pretty cool build, but also an expensive one because you need to kill a wither. <laughs> Excuse me, please. I'm I'm trying to do a tutorial here. Thank you. Anyways, now you're gonna place these ones like this. Boop, boop, boom. So you'll know how to build it. And a beacon, and then a deep slate tile slab. First, you need to crouch and place it. There we go. Anyways, this is probably one of my favorite street designs. It's also quite expensive because of the lamps. Anyways, time to actually build the second street. Now uh, this is not going to be, uh, you know, pretty spooky, it's going to be like a normal street, you know, you could probably see it in real life. Anyways, you, what you want to do, again, same as the other street, just right there, you are going to place quartz slab this time, like this. Now, you could make this a lot more bigger, but since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to make it a little small, okay? Now, as again, this at the other side. Next, what you want to do is break the sides like this. Boom, boom, bam, 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 bala, 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 bam, 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 No, no, misplaced. Boom, there we go. After you've done that, you are now going to place these light grey concrete. And now look, it's a lot different than the other one and looks a lot more cleaner. Now for the lamps, this is a lot more cheaper. You're going to need calcite, diorite wall build up tree like this boom boom then what you're gonna do is sandstone wall two up like this boom boom oh I keep misplacing that's fine anyways what you need to do is build a dark oak slab thing no not like that like this go around okay actually this is a bit expensive because you're gonna need a sea lantern but if you are near a like sea temple you could easily get it but not because of that thing as you can see oh this is a little bit ugly wait hang on i forgot the design oh i think it's like this yeah so now you'll have this and break these i'm so sorry i missed the design anyways they look pretty similar but yeah they are a lot more different anyways as you can see they are different okay they have some similarities but they are still different Anyways, if you are going for a medieval look, you could use moss blocks. Yeah, moss is pretty amazing if you're doing medie medieval builds. So what you're gonna do is just randomly break it like this, like a snake type. And then you are gonna need to place your moss like this. Boom, 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 boom. And like this. Boom, boom, boom. And after you've done that, you're gonna need to uh, place mossy cobblestone. So it has like a transition going on, you know, like this, just don't build it too much, like, yeah, like that. And then after that, you're going to need cobblestone, again, transition gradient thing that I'm using here, 
this is a pretty cool pathway medieval thing and then after the couple stone you're gonna need normal stone and then put them in the middle so it has like a tra cool transition thing you know Let's look at that just look at that that's look that looks pretty cool i really like the design and i use this quite a lot okay then yeah it's pretty much done if you want to decor it you could also just use bone meal and just place some plants down like this boom boom bum yeah it looks pretty cool i really like it a lot yeah like this boom bap, boom and again you could make this a lot more bigger yeah look at that you can see it's a lot more gardeny <laughs> is that even a word anyways if you want to add lanterns in this you could just use walls like this place them randomly in the cobblestone like that and you're gonna need some lanterns a normal one and a soul lantern one oh soul there's some soul going on in this pathway uh, that's scary anyways like that now look at that yeah that looks pretty cool i really like that a lot it's also a lot more cheaper than the other two <laughs> especially the deep slate one but yeah i really like these three anyways that's it for this tutorial if you need more you can just comment down below and yeah hope you enjoyed it and by the way wait wait guys don't skip please subscribe yeah subscribe right now bye